Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Film. So we just unboxed the RTX 4060 Ti, and I just installed it on my computer. So with that being said, first things first, I want this answered. Can it open and run Unreal Engine 5? And it looks like it can. I have 5.2 right here. This is the same environment and sequence that I rendered my car animation. I think it was last week. Uh, we're in here. Let's turn it on to, say, uh, show the FPS. So you can kind of see it. This is a pretty serious serious environment here this is no joke like this is entire nanite enabled you can test this out this is mavi's burnt forest but this is crazy all right for for a gpu under 400 dollars running this in high scalability this is pretty crazy so that's pretty much answered can it open unreal engine 5 Yes, because as you all know, a lot of people were really skeptical as far as, hey, can it work in Unreal 5? Well, as you can see, it does. And what I'll do next is I'll pull up my system information here because I want to show you what I'm kind of working with. Again, this is not a very expensive PC. I got this during Black Friday and had a 3060 inside it when I bought it. So uh, 10 700K CPU, 3.8 gigahertz, and it has 32 gigs of RAM. And then obviously the RTX 4080 Ti has eight gigs of VRAM. So I pretty much got this GPU because a lot of people are saying, hey, you know, it's really worthless. You should just get the 16 gigs in July. But people have to understand that some people actually have a budget that they set on what card they need to get. And my buddy Mike is a perfect example of this. He went from a 2070 to the 4060 Ti, because I told him about it, because his budget is straight $400 and less. No more than that, right? So again, the point is, what if you only had $400 what can you do with that $400 when it comes to GPU? And that's why I got this card because I know some of y'all share the same exact thing with Mikey is that you can't spend $100 more on the 16 gig or whatever version one later down the road, which is going to be the better deal, obviously, for a lot of y'all. So what can you get for $399? It opens Unreal Engine, but obviously, that's we're just not going to stop there. I'm going to show you the lineup real quick of the RTX 4 series card, 4060, these two right here. This is where we're at, the 4060 Ti 8 gig 399. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I would say pass right here, rendering wise at really nice high quality max lumen settings, this is probably gonna be your 1080p renders right here. And this is being realistic, okay? And this 30, 4070 right here, I haven't owned a 4070 series or TI, but I'm guessing this is going to be your 1440p lumen renders right here. You should be fine with that. And a 4080T, and then the 4080, and then the 4090, obviously, this is going to be your 4K and above. You can render 1440p and 4K with this card, just depending on your environment. All right. It just depends. In, in a dense situation like this, it's probably going to render but it's probably going to take a long time. So that being said, we have kind of like it broken down. I'm going to render the same exact car animations that are rendered with my $7,000 A6000 card. All right. And then the 4090 was able to render the same thing, obviously. And we're going to go to my cinematics because I do have that sequence already ready. I just got to press the record button. I have the takes here. I think we did it on the 21st. So yeah, about almost two weeks ago. I have it right here and I'll press G... And I'm just going to exit out of that. So this is the actual sequence that I rendered with the other card. And again, in high settings, I can preview this. Like when I first started with Unreal Engine, I was using the 1080 Ti, right? And I spent like $800 on that. It had like 11 gigs of VRAM. And even with that card at $800, for my very first short film, I had to work in unlit the entire time. Because I just was not able to work lit mode. And now here we are. Two years later, two and a half years later, we have a card that's 399 and it looks like this in the editor and it plays like 40. And this is without DLSS 2. All right. And not even without DLSS 3. Those two things. Not even without. This is raw power right now that is, you're able to do stuff in here. So what we're going to do next is obviously render it. Okay. So, all right, I pressed the wrong button. I'm going to press this button right now because we're going to render the sequence and I'm going to go to my settings and I do have a preset here that says 6K. This is what I used for the A6000 when I render it, rendered it in 6K. Killed it, but it's $8,000 card. So I'm going to go to the output right now and let's go to the folder I created right here. Actually, let's just create a new one. TI. Oh, yo, whatever. Can't type today. And I'll just reset this to 
40, 60 Ti, right? And in the output resolution, 1920 by 1080, we're going to render this at 1080p, and I'm just going to click render local, all right? So can we render max lumen settings with a $399 GPU, and what would it look like? All right, so what I'll do is if this renders, I'm going to make the actual EXR downloadable so you can see the quality of it, okay? So right now, I'm also recording, by the way, in the same computer, 4K recording via OBS in the AV1 codec, okay? So this is Unreal that we're working in right now. I'm going to be testing this in an actual game scenario, Forza, Cyberpunk. Uh, I might do layers of fear just so you can kind of see what it will look like. Fortnite also, obviously. So we're going to be taking a look at that.